Welcome everyone to the ADP Center for Learning Technologies workshop series on gamification and gamified learning. For this demonstration, we'll show the platform of Genially. So first to start uh, with Genially, in order to utilize this platform, one must create an account, whether it is a free or a premium version. There are some differences in the premium features versus the free features, so we will be covering that as we progress through this uh, series. So once you log into your account, uh, you will have a toolbar on the left-hand side which displays either templates, possible inspiration, uh, team projects, uh, and also offers some data analytics, uh, branding kits, and, and settings, or your trash. So we will be using one of the quizzes that I had previously created using this platform. So once you either choose a template or create a template can also fit the specific subject matter that you're looking for, whether it's environmentalism or any one of the other topics in STEM or any related fields. So using a template that I previously had worked on, it appears as a slide deck. So similar to previous workshops where we covered uh, Google Slides, uh, PowerPoint, and Canva, this format on Genially offers similar assets to the other platforms. So once you click a template, there will be preloaded assets that compose the slide deck. You can go in and customize the text, include images, or if you would like to include your own elements or edit the elements, uh, you can do that as well to adjust the assets that compose your larger game. There are also interactive elements that you can incorporate, such as buttons for transitioning to different pages, linking outside that includes sounds. Uh, there are interactive windows, tool tips, and links that can come up, fun widgets that you can use, interactive graphs, or an interactive area. Interactive questions are also a way that you can incorporate uh, skill assessment in your gamification. So it is notable that in the premium version, you will be able to receive analytics for the people who are completing these quizzes or games that you create. In the free version, it is uh, just a generally accessible quiz that is uh, student paced. You can present it to a class and offer it as an instructor-paced game. There are also smart blocks, which you can incorporate as well, which offer different graphs, diagrams, galleries, maps, uh, and this is just a better way to convey your message in a creative and infographic type of manner. You can also insert images, audio, video, or other forms of media as well. And if you would like to change the background colors that compose the slides, you could do this as well. Typically what will happen is that when you open one of these projects, there will be a set of questions that come up and it will either say correct answer, wrong answer, or correct answer. So that would look something along the lines of this. write the wrong answer here, write the correct answer here, write the wrong answer here. And then these are subcomponents within the game that you can further manipulate. So as the students answer questions and get them correct, they will earn eggs, or if they get the question incorrect, it will transition them to a page where it says you have gotten the answer wrong. There are also transitions that you can incorporate in between these slides. And you can also add animations to the assets. So once you've chosen a template and created a slide deck and adjusted all of your answers, the assets, and incorporated any elements of creativity and all of your text content, you can then look at publishing or presenting. So when you go to the top right corner, there is a present option that you can click and this will allow you to either present the game that you've created to a class uh, live, or you can create a public view link, which you either share 
via email, on social networks, or through other avenues such as Microsoft Teams or Google Classrooms. So that covers the introduction to Genially. We will cover some more intermediate aspects of this platform in the future, as well as gamification. If you do have any more individualized questions that you'd like to reach out or schedule an appointment, please feel free to go to adpcenter.org and click Schedule an Appointment where you can book an appointment with either myself or one of our team members. And if you'd like to send us an email, you can email us at adpcenter at montclair.edu. Thank you for attending our workshop, and we look forward to having you at more in the future.